Hey everyone, welcome back to the Feature Crew. Today is the day that we've been waiting for, the day we prophesized in our agents video, which we'll link in the description. Uh, ChatGPT, OpenAI released their first agent. They're calling it Operator. Yeah. It's a web browsing, but also that can take, a, take over your browser and perform complex tasks for you in the background while you're not uh, directly influencing it. Let's see what it can do. First, we just kind of want to show off its ability to browse the web. So we're going to ask it to find the most starred GitHub repository and see how it can handle that task. So just to know, uh, when you land in, they have a whole lot of kind of prompted websites or kind of supported websites. And we want to see how it does not within that range. Um, so we're using GitHub. GitHub didn't seem to immediately be available. Um, so let's see how it goes. So you can see that as soon as you send off a task, uh, operator opens up its own browser. And you can always take control of this like cloud browser, but uh, right now we're watching it search for Bit GitHub and navigate to the GitHub website. Again, interesting that it looked to be using Bing as its search engine. Shut up, Bing. So something I'm noticing, I just want to call out that there is one task in progress. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so you, you can run multiple. The, um, if you click there, you can show the reasoning steps, right? Oh. Yeah. So right now you can see like we gave the task find most start GitHub repository. It's like, okay, I'm going to navigate to GitHub. I'm going to search repositories. So it tried that, and it seemed to not be able to do it. So it's opened a new tab with most start GitHub repositories. It's now found a result. Via Copilot. Via Copilot. Yep. And then this is technically the GitHub rankings of top 100 stars. It's another repo that has already It's uh, Evan Lee's. Search. It's Ed Evan Lee's GitHub ranking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Evan Lee. And then, there you go, it answered. The it most starred GitHub repository is free code nice. server, So there you go. It technically got it right. I mean, this is just a web search example. Opened a tab and tried to do probably what a human would, which is just search and then find it. So, hey, not too bad. It's pretty cool. And the fact that this doesn't seem to be a supported app and yet it can click around, um, it does seem to ring true of what they said of, it gets given like the kind of screenshot like what a human would do. Mm -hmm. um, it's not trying to do like any anything funky or send like an API request, it was actually just trying to navigate the web. Also worth calling out, you can save this task, which implies that we can have it repeat it. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. So if we save the task, then I guess maybe we can set recurrence. Yeah. Which could be interesting then, even though from our video, a lot of people have been seeing tasks and it kind of is like a cron job. Um, but if you chained it with this, maybe that starts getting a bit more mm -hmm. useful, right? right? Like, you know, like, go execute on this every day or summarize this, whatever. Um, could start to be pretty useful. You can see that we're building the, the pieces of that sort of her Jarvis thing that everybody wants to get yeah. to in the future, right? Where just the, the foundational building blocks are getting stacked on top of the, the actual models themselves now. I'm curious how it can reason over, like, a specific question that's localized to where I am. So we're going to ask it to find a highly rated golden retriever breeder. We actually got a Bernie's Mountain Dog, but uh, we'll mix it up a little bit. Uh, in the Pacific Northwest region, so I'm, I'm coming out of uh, the Pacific Northwest, and I'm curious, there's not like a global ranking system for this. There's a lot of ambiguity, so how does it handle this? Um, you saw in the demo, most of the tasks were very, like, order me this on Instacart, book me a reservation, um, and those had integration, so it already knew how to use those. They clearly had tested those, and they sort of white-labeled those. This is just like the GitHub example, very much not uh, white-labeled. Yeah, so I think, I mean, it really just clicked on the first link and yeah. is exploring right. the website. Uh -huh. I, yeah. I, really relying on the search engine to do a lot of the reasoning right now. And, mm -hmm. you know, to be fair, I think we expect over time they're going to use better and better models for this, so we may end up... It just clicked on the ad. It's just, it just no, no. clicked on the ad. No, it's going to Facebook. Yeah. Facebook is blocked. I'm assuming they might have like disallow listed some sites. Maybe Facebook's one of them. I assume things like it might be interesting to see if they do social media sites in general. Because maybe if you said, "Hey, like go stalk this person," they're like, "No, no, no." Mm -hmm. RA so, so it that. seems like what this is going to do is go through all the at least some section of the results and try to give us an answer. Uh, we won't bore the audience by making it and watch us watch it go through all these golden retriever websites, but. This is a task you could set it to run and come back to. So yeah, the fact that we can run multiple tasks, we can see what the result is near the end of the video, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, but interesting to see how it handled this ambiguity. Uh, 
not super well yet, but also kind of human. I mean, this is what I think a lot of people would do, given yeah. given this question. Yeah. So I'm not super disappointed, but I, it it's not magic yet, right? But it is. It's really cool to see it doing this. Well, that's why we wanted to try it out immediately. You could imagine a scenario where maybe it thought a little bit hard, and it was like, you know what? Like we already knew, or Chris knew from probably doing the search, that there is no repository with this information. So maybe if it already thought about that, it's like, ah, I'm going to need another way of doing this. But it seems to maybe be taking the more human approach, which is, okay, let me search to see what I can find first, go iterate through the sources of knowledge, and go from there. So it looks I mean, like to its credit, people. it does seem to be not just saying, here's the breeder, but it's looking to see if they have puppies. So that's cool. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Now it's yeah, found three. Very high level. Like th very this cool. to me doesn't seem better than a chat GPT search result. Yeah. So I think we no, really right. need to move, move beyond searching for stuff. Yep. Because so we're asking it to make a simple calculator app in JS Fiddle. Okay, so it's okay. open JS Fiddle code okay. successfully. Okay. It selected the HTML input. So that's the human in the loop. During the announcement, they said before it does an action where it deems it's like going to make a substantive change, it gets you in the loop before proceeding. Wow. Wow. It just hard coded. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Interesting. Should I run the code? It'd say yes. Yeah. So, yes. Run the code. <laughs> yeah, there's the calculator. Okay. Is it going to test test calculator? Oh, testing with a simple operation. Wow. Well, that's cool. Okay, that's actually got to go. Plus three. Should I proceed to <laughs> It really asks before yeah. every action. Yeah, they said it's a research preview. So they've probably really over tweaked on the, uh, you know, make sure you ask. Is there not a submit button on this calculator, though? No, it equals. It equals, yeah. It oh, equals, okay. Yeah. Copying the URL for sharing. Access it with this link. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Whoa. I mean, okay, okay, okay. That's pretty okay. awesome. The one thing I want to see is how good is its vision? Can it make it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, now, now we're going to bring it. The fact that it even gave you the link at the end was a nice little touch. Uh -huh. That was um, a great touch. But this is kind of awesome. It's really made it easy to use computer use. Of course, it's gated behind the $200 pro subscription, so... Um, it's not easily accessible yet, but ooh, it's probably added a library that is not working. Oh, let's see. Is it figuring it out? <laughs> it just keeps <laughs> opening the... <laughs> it looks a little stuck. <laughs> the definition of insanity. How many... Time out. How many loops does it need to go before it's like, I am stuck? Closing battle, <laughs> accessing JavaScript area, closing battle. It's like, it's... This looks like, a, like I don't know if anybody played Infinite. RuneScape. I dig a hole in the grounds, I bury the bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we may want to not burn through all our tokens on this, but it's going to go, oh, hang on, it did something oh, new. Oh, oh. oh, yep. Okay. Okay. It figured it out. <laughs> We're back opening the panel. It can't seem to do the extensions, which seems like it's what it wants to do. Yeah. So let's, um, maybe it can't do the panel. Which is confusing. It could just click. Yeah, I don't know, but it's clearly struggling. So that was a little too much for it. Okay, so we want to test mm -hmm. its ability. Like, we could see that it could do research before, but in terms of turning that into an actual task, like uh, turning the research into actions, uh, we want to see if it can build a Google Sheet, and then we're also going to need to see if it can, uh, like how it handles the sign-in flow. They did call out in the presentation that there are going to be a bunch of websites that are blocked from like a crawler or sort of, it shows up as an AI agent, so there might be, yeah, there's a bunch of sites that aren't going to let it. Okay, we, we should we should just stop this and do it, because it's because I asked for AI agents. So I like, I like this task because it's a, it is a bit of a research task, but it's got a clear goal. It's like going to go have to figure out, like in real forests, how dense are all these things, and then it'll build a calculator to help the game dev who's building this forest game. Uh, you know, maybe adjust some of those constants, calculate how many uh, different props they'll need in their world. Um, so this is this is something I've used ChatGPT for in the past, and I want to see if it, like it, that was a lot of human in the loop, a lot of work I had to do, yeah. and I want to see if operator can handle the whole flow. I think. Well, we're waiting here just to discuss. This is a kind of cool paradigm when you start to think of what could you offload, right? Like every day, imagine this gets cheaper. You have this task, you're building a game. You could go ahead and say, I need to figure out this, this, this. Kick it off, go get a coffee, come back, and have it at least pushed forward. <laughs> Interesting. 
It's going into sort of... Just like a human might, going down a forum rabbit hole to figure out kind of the, the end part of the question. Instead of doing real forest research, it seems to be doing game research, right? Mm-hmm. Which is kind of poetic, I guess. You know, the whole thing of, like, lazy people try and find the best option. Um, this thing is almost, in a way, trying to be lazy. It is actually very lazy. I think that's a good way to point it. Because yeah. it's, like, it's clearly been tuned to start every task with, like, a Bing search. Yep. Right? It's, like, okay, so I'm going to do what a... It's, like, jumping to the the root of the task instead of doing the important steps that we actually want it to do. In this case as well, we are saying or, or, or getting it to do apps that are not in its like kind of marketplace. Yeah, the marketplace seems to be really about ordering things, like submitting yeah. Yeah. Yep. submitting tickets basically. I, I you know, so if you will, if you're curious in that, check out the announcement video. Yeah. Because that's all they did there. Yeah. It's not worth $200 to me, but if they put this on Plus, I would definitely have it plan a menu for the week. Like, yeah. hey, plan me my menu for the week. I want to do a grocery trip. Output it all into a organized grocery list by section of the grocery store. Yeah. But then I guess that that is a great example of something that I already do in ChatGPT, and it works great. Yeah, but it, I think adding the task layer, I mean, which you don't need operator for necessarily if it's already doing it great. You could just have a reoccurring task, you know, every Sunday. Output that for me. I mean, one thing I think I'll try it for is I'm trying to plan a holiday, so we'll see. Oh, it thinks it's ready to make a Google oh. Sheet. And let's see. Now it should pause and ask it again. There's no way it just drops in that email. Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> yeah, create account. Wait, it says requesting the user sign in for Sheets. Yeah, but it hasn't popped that up yet. The reasoning step is that, but it hasn't done the UI. Or maybe you, you can go back I'm to that. I'm counted as sign in. There you oh, go. Okay. Yeah. okay. Cool. So we just signed, you know, it was, a, it was a pretty, like, we had some Google auth issues, but we had a, it was a pretty easy flow to, to get the sort of cloud Thanks. environment auth, which is what I've always said would be how they did this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if it stays signed in. I assume it's going to be a uh, private browser each time. I... It'll be kind of annoying yeah. each time after logging yeah. in, but we'll see. I think it's, if, if Sam's really the killer he is, they figured out a way to save your token. Mm. Yeah, we'll see. And hey, this is day one. We just immediately wanted to hop on. We'll probably have answers to a lot of these questions as we get to play with it. This was literally, we got access and we've hopped on to get you guys as quick as possible uh, our thoughts. So it does look like it's kind of wrapping up. It's getting prop type, density, make count. Yep. I mean, that does credit where credit's due, kind of what I was anticipating that it would do at the end, mm -hmm. right? At first, I kind of was a bit worried I was too lazy and it had gone to like, just like a game dev forum. It was you know, gonna be trash, but well, what the hell? Just kind of expect. Oh, it's, it's like going through the formatting process. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this is actually kind of better than what some people who make spreadsheets do. This is interesting. We'll probably be cutting this out, but it is slowly crawling through each cell, um, copy pasting whatever information it has. So it's not necessarily super fast, right? When you compare it to like 4.0, it would just like print out a table really quick. Um, wow, it's even doing Oh yeah. Uh, calculations. So it's now adding formulas. Oh, but, oh, it's copying the formula, I think. I don't even know what it's doing. Yeah, I think it's copy pasting the formula and the formula is just being updated and it's checking it. Kind of neat. Is it gonna paste a link to the sheet? What is the total props column for? Maybe it's left for you to decide. To help estimate and adjust prop density in the forest, you can access the the sheet using this link. All right. I mean, hey, it did, it did a lot hey. of what I asked, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you can see at the top of the screen, you can see all the different Tab it did some. It did a bunch of research, right? Um, yeah, this is impressive in terms of like being able to use tools for some abstract task. Again, yeah. the, like Dylan was saying earlier, these tools were not uh, pre-approved. Like Google Sheets yeah. was not pre-approved as an as a supported app by operator, and it was able to jump in here and and succeed in the task. And these are toy examples, but like. You know, these are kind of similar in an abstract sense to something like I could imagine myself doing, mm -hmm. right? Like I might need to do this research task and if I can go like, hey, operator, go do this and I come back 30 minutes later, that's kind of interesting. Yep. Um, so again, we're gonna play around with it a bit more, hopefully have some more thoughts, but you know, initial impressions, pretty good. Like pretty when, impressive. Oh, when preview came out, we were like, what is this? But this already out the box is kind of what they said it was gonna do. Um, and now it'd be interesting to see how it does 
day to day, right? Like as you use it as a daily driver. So um, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I think I'm, you know, I'm excited to, this was really off the cuff here. Uh, these are our first impressions. I'm, I think we, we should come back uh, for all you when, when we've played around with it more and kind of know the strengths and find some really key use cases. Yeah. Uh, but for now, I'm impressed and I'm very excited to play around with this more and also to see what, what the competitors come out with now that we're in the age of agents here. Yeah, well, we are firmly in the, the year of the agents and January has been a very exciting time, so... Um, lots to explore so give us a like follow subscribe if you want to stick around otherwise we'll catch you in the next one see ya thanks for watching